folks to another edition of the Late Night Review and tonight another one of my favorite movies of all time, An Eye for an Eye with Chuck Norris. I really like this movie a lot. This is a movie that I grew up with. This is a movie that uh, I think it's besides Forced Vengeance, I think it's my favorite Chuck Norris movie, but it's close. Uh, I like Forced Vengeance, usually the best out of all of Chuck Norris's movies, but sometimes I actually like this even more. It just depends on the mood I'm in. And then there's some other Chuck Norris movies that are really close uh, to those two, like uh, Force of One and The Octagon and um, Hero and the Terror and Breaker Breaker. There's a lot of them that are close, but I think Forced Vengeance and An Eye for an Eye are my two favorites. This is a movie uh, where Chuck Norris's character is a policeman. He's a, a detective undercover, and his partner, who's also undercover, is murdered. Chuck Norris witnesses it, tries to stop it, can't really do anything about it, but he tries, and it's a horrendous death. Uh, he's hit by a car and burned alive, and then um, it's, it's an awful death. So Chuck Norris uh, seeks to uh, uh, avenge him, goes out and tries to get justice, investigates a crime syndicate and drug organization, and uh, bring it down. And it's a good movie. It really is one of my favorites. I like the way it's done. I like the action. Um, the director is Steve Carver. He also directed Lone Wolf McQuaid and various other movies, uh, action, and a variety of different categories as well. And uh, he did River of Death with Michael Dudikoff, a movie I've, I've seen it years and years ago, so I can't, I can't really comment on it because it's not one that I've seen recently, so I'd have to brush up on it. But he directed that and numerous other films. Uh, anything with Michael Dudikoff is, I always liked. He's another um, guy that I grew up watching and uh, I like the American Ninja, American Ninja series, and then um, a lot of his movies. I think that uh, when he was in, um, there was a Vietnam movie that he was in, where he was um, in the 173rd Airborne, and I think it was directed by Chuck Norris's brother, Aaron Norris, and uh, it was Platoon Leader, is what it was. I almost said Platoon, but that's another movie. Dramatic. And that was a very good movie too, but it's not Platoon. It's called Platoon Leader uh, with Michael Dudikoff. But anyway, tonight I'm talking about An Eye for an Eye starring Chuck Norris and uh, James Chan. Mako is in here. He plays Chuck Norris, his uh, martial arts uh, instructor. And uh, he was in Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, he was also in The Sand Pebbles. He did a great job in The Sand Pebbles with Steve McQueen. Uh, Christopher Lee is in here. Toro Tanaka is in here. And um, he was a professional wrestler, boxer, just an amazing guy, powerful. He used to team up with a Mr. Fuji, I believe, in his wrestling days as a tag team, him and Mr. Fuji. Uh, uh, that, that those are some times. Those I used to watch WWF. It's called WWE now, but I grew up WWF. Used to watch that all the time. He's in here. Does an amazing job. The professor, and he was also in uh, uh, the Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Perfect we Weapon with uh, Jeff Speakman. And Jeff Speakman said he was so strong. He was like a piece of iron. He was so powerful. And uh, that was another good movie. Maybe I'll do a video of that one day. The Perfect Weapon was one of my total favorite movies. Um, an Eye for an Eye with Chuck Norris has some great action scenes. It's what you would want from a Chuck Norris movie. The martial arts, action, a good story where he seeks justice. And uh, it just has all the elements that I like in a Chuck Norris movie. There's uh, actors and actresses in here that you've probably seen in other films if you're into movies. And they do a good job. Um, very good. Richard Roundtree is in here. Does a really good job. I just, not too long ago, uh, actually a few nights ago, I saw Maniac Cop, the original. Richard Roundtree uh, was in there. And uh, um, that was a good one with Bruce Campbell. And that, maybe I'll do a, a video of that one day. But that was, uh, 
I'm going off talking about other movies when I should be talking about this one, but this, An Eye for an Eye, uh, is not only one of my favorite Chuck Norris movies of all time, it's actually one of my favorite movies uh, of all time, period. I think it's a great inspiration for those who are into martial arts. It's a movie, so the fighting is not that realistic as with a lot of martial arts movies, but it's fun. It's interesting. I like the music. I like the story. Chuck Norris, when he's first starting out as a movie star, uh, one of his first films, and uh, it's it's really a, an enjoyable movie, and it's really good to see him, and it's good to see him in his uh, earlier days and doing this stuff, and I think he performs most of his own stunts, if not all of his own stunts, in, in a majority of his movies, and what an inspiration. Always been a Chuck Norris fan. As a kid, I couldn't wait to see the, the latest Chuck Norris movie. And uh, this is, like I said earlier, it's in my top, definitely top two and three Chuck Norris movies of all time. Um, and uh, I think the, the fight, I know most people have probably seen this unless you're in the younger generations. Um, you may have not seen this, but you should because if you like action, I think this is right up your alley. I think you will like it. And um, a good fight at the end with him and the professor. I don't want to spoil it, but I think most people have seen this movie. I mean, gosh, it's been out for years and years. I think it was 1981, if I remember right, early 80s. And um, it's got great action, great fight scenes, fun, interesting. If you haven't seen it, I would check it out. Christopher Lee does a good job as the main boss, the main villain, the boss of the crime syndicate. And uh, it's a organization that has triad members, uh, Chinese mafia members uh, working for it. And um, they, they not only kill Chuck Norris's partner, but they also kill his, uh, his partner's wife. And he goes out to get justice for her too. And they're chasing her from the airport. Chuck Norris uh, is called by her on the phone and she's in trouble and he goes to try to help her, but it's too late. They're really closing in on her. And it's the way it's shot, it's really dramatic. And the way it's done, you have Turo Tanaka chasing her through the, the airport and then outside and, and then they follow her to the apartment and everything. And then he breaks down the door with the elbows and elbow smashes and fists and all that. And, it's a sad scene, you know, they, they kill his partner's uh, wife. And uh, so Chuck Norris goes out to seek justice for her and for his uh, partner. And it's well done, it's a good movie. It's got a good uh, motivation for our hero. And uh, I think it's a fast paced movie. It's not slow at all. Uh, most of Chuck Norris's movies are fast paced. You get the martial arts. And um, he is very athletic and he does a lot of his early, I really like his early movies and his later movies too, uh, I do. But the earlier movies I think were more martial arts uh, centric and I have a lot of nostalgia for him. I was a little kid when I was watching these early movies of Chuck Norris, it brings back a lot of memories. I had some, a lot of good times, you know, practicing training, trying to copy him and do the moves and all that stuff. So I have a lot of fun with this movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen it and you like martial arts and you like action, you're in for a real treat. I hope you check it out. This has uh, been the Late Night Review. Share this video, like and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, have a good night.